And we're back now with Brett Favre, Abby Wambach, David Ross, and Kurt Warner. And in our audience, we have Jacob Van Landingham. He's a neuroscientist and creator of the possible breakthrough concussion medication, Provacus. Uh, good morning to all of you. Is it, wait, is it Prevacus? It's Prevacus. There we go, Prevacus. All right, Doc, let me start with you because there's nothing you can do for these four, right? That's correct. But there might be something you can do for the athletes who get a concussion on the field. What is it? Correct. So acutely, it is, it's a neurosteroid. Uh, it's given nasally so we can get more of it into the brain very quickly. It's formulated in a way where it can stay stable to over 125 degrees. So in Afghanistan, Iraq, on a football field, a soccer field. And we're able to get it because we give it nasally through this applicator here. Uh, we're able to get it into the brain in less than five minutes. It diffuses throughout all regions of your brain within 30 minutes. It reduces the swelling of the brain? Swelling, inflammation, and what's called oxidative stress because it's one drug that activates the DNA and stimulates three positive products to prevent swelling, inflammation, and oxidative stress. Has this been approved by the FDA now? No, we're, still, we're in the process of clinical right. trials now. We're trying to get that. And I should yep. notice you guys are all in investors in this drug. You believe in it. And you, I assume, wish it had been around when you guys were playing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I want to talk about children because there are a lot of parents out there who are watching this thinking, what does this mean? Should I not let my kid play soccer, play baseball, play football? Um, let me start with you, Brett, on it because you've said, you've said no. Uh, but, but why? I mean, what about just tackle football or what about soccer without heading the ball? Sorry, flag football. Well, I, I think... Uh... Yeah, you know, I mean, concussions are, are going to happen, whether they play or not. They're going to happen to adults. They're going to happen to soccer players. They're going to happen to anyone. Um, and this drug, um, if, if it can ever get approved and, 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 and used, I think it will greatly help long-term health. But we're not going to stop concussions. And I think the brain and, and, and the, just the... The skull itself is at, uh, for an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15-year-old, um, and maybe even older, is not developed enough, and they should not be playing tackle football. Um, and so we should protect them, um, especially when there is no uh, treatment solution out there. Mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully Prevacus is, is that treatment that... that um, gets into mainstream in, in the next few years. What but do you, what, what, to, sorry, Craig. Yeah, what, what do you guys make of it? Because obviously there's a risk in anything in life. Yeah. It's risky to let your kid drive a car, um, all sorts of things. But ha having been through this yourself and experienced the effects of this, would you let your kids play soccer, well, head think, the ball in soccer and football? Yeah, I think both can be true, right? We both, we can, we can want our kids to, to benefit from the things that we gain from playing sports. We were of the small percentage that got to be professional athletes. But the things that we learned, social interaction, uh, dealing with ups and downs, failures, those are, those are lifelong things that you take with you. We can also be a little bit worried about uh, any kind of head trauma that they're going to suffer, much like we did. That being said, that's why Prevacus is such an important drug to have as a utensil, as a, as a tool. You know, when you is, is it enough for you to let your kid play tackle football? Um, that's a great question. I think that, <laughs> thankfully, my kid, my, my son, who would be in a tackle football position, is a cross-country kid. So I'm not in a, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, in that, I'm not in that problem um, arena. But because is, is it's scary. it true that a lot of the concussions happen not because they've improved the helmets? But a lot of the concussions and the, the damage happens when your head hits the turf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The turf's getting harder and harder. It, it, like the little pellets that are underneath yeah. the green yep. stuff move out of the way. And when your head hits it, it's like hitting concrete. Yeah. And so it's not always about getting hit. You've, yeah. got, you've got a son, an eight-year-old? Yeah, eight-year-old. Yeah, it'll eight be nine. Yeah. And he played, he'd fallen in love with flag football. And uh, he's a bigger, bigger kid like me. And not really, I don't think speed is really going to be his game. So... He's come to me and said, Dad, I want, I want to play tackle. And he wants to, you know, hit somebody and, and be a part of that. And it scares me to death because um, I don't want to, him to stop playing football. I love football. I love watching football. Uh, I live in a college town. And what scares me, too, is I don't want to take away the sports I love from him. I want him to be able to participate, learn about overcoming adversity and learning how you deal with success and failure. And um, those are great things that youth sports teaches us as, as even adults now. I learned a lot from my coaches and playing, but 
um, I'm worried. You know, I, I, we don't have anything that we can give. Them. That's, again, why I'm on board with Prevacus is because of I want my kid to be able to experience the same things that I experienced as a kid. Yeah. And, and I have seven children. And so wow. I have, yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I, I know. Seven, um, I know, right? He yeah. deserves some applause for that. Yeah. You know, and this, this hits so many different levels for me. I've got a son who's playing in college. I've got another son that's going to play in high school next year. And, you know, David talks about it. I love the sport of football. I can't imagine my parent coming to me and saying, you can't play anymore. I mean, it meant so much to me. And so as a parent, you know, as much as there's times I'm like, I, I don't want them to be out there and doing something like that. I've got a daughter that horseback rides. And so I worry about her falling off. I've got another son. My oldest son suffered a traumatic brain injury when he was four months old. So he has dealt with intellectual and developmental disabilities forever. And so, you know, when you talk about Prevacus and you talk about why are you involved, I feel like I have to be involved. Yeah. You know, that it, it is something that's out there. It's groundbreaking. It's something that can change the complexion of things. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to tell my kids, well, you can't play or literally pull them off the field. But I want to have something there that if they do suffer an injury. My son, like I said, when he was four months, gets injured. What does a drug like Prevacus do to my son, how does that change things for him in the long term of his life I if that's available at that particular time? So this goes well beyond the sports field to me. And this, you know, there's the tax, whether we're talking about military, mm -hmm. kids, parents, it, it's, it's all encompassing because, as Brett said, concussions are going to happen yep. in some way, shape or form. Military is a good point because they suffer this a lot as well. Uh, again, it's not FDA approved yet, but I do want to say uh, once again, from my ex-husband's knowledge of you, um, you were with us on our honeymoon where he was reading your bio. I know that <laughs> you, you, you adopted your special needs son. Right. He was already special needs when you adopted yeah. him and met, and met your right. wife, who was then a single mom of two boys. So love your story. Love all of you thank for you. being here. All the best thank to you. you. And thank you for the great times you've given us on the field and for your courage today. I'm talking about it. All the best, guys. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.